So um, this is just our first page you'll see when you come up, and there's our community goals and, uh, and our uh, a page here with the, the graphic with our different Sioux communities. Uh, but I'd like to start us out uh, in, on the models page, and we're going to do a little, a little bit of uh, work there first. So if everybody can uh, get to that page. Um, you should uh, see a couple things here. Uh, one is just a, a little box with a few links to various uh, uh, links to for model information. But you also see uh, two other sections. Uh, one is forums, and it says forums models. And the other one is files models. Now, this uh, forum here, and forums in general on the virtual lab, are just a way of either sharing information or ac asking questions, too. So if you have a question about something, it's a way of actually doing that. But uh, first, I'd like to uh, have you actually work on adding categories uh, to the, the forums for models. And um, I'll need uh, each person to pick a model. So uh, let's see, uh, Aaron, which model would you like to add a category for? Uh, I don't care. Pick a model, uh, SREF or something. <laughs> We'll do that. OK, so just go ahead and click on Add Category. And I'll, I'll go along with you on that and kind of show you on the right side here. And I'll pick uh, the uh, GFS. Just keep it simple here. OK, so GFS. And then uh, uh, this is for sharing information and questions on the GFS. And just a real short description. And it'll say display style. Now it always says default, and that's, that's fine. The difference here is when you're creating a new category in a form is if it's question, it means everything will be posed as a question, and everything will come up as a question. Uh, so usually that's something you won't have to worry about. It also says here permissions. It says community members. You can usually leave that fine, unless you want everybody and their cousin. but. Uh, there are other options, but uh, that's only if you want to have a very small group working on something. So if you ever need to set up something specifically for a small group that you know you need to kind of keep it under wraps, as it were, for the moment and not clog things up, uh, there are other options actually for doing that So in, in different ways of creating them. Um, also, there's a section down here. It's called Active and um, mail, for the mailing list. Just ignore that <laughs> altogether. Uh, you don't have to do anything with that. I'll, I can explain that a little later on why that is. So the first thing, next thing we do is, it's very simple, just hit Save. And you'll notice here under Category, it says GFS. This is for sharing information and questions on the GFS. So we've created a place for questions for the GFS to go. So Aaron, have you been able to create one yet uh, for the SREF? Yeah, just hit refresh. I was the second behind you. Oh, OK. OK, let me hit refresh. And uh, and there we are. There's the SREF. Super. Um, so Brett, do you want to take a model and add one in there? Oh, maybe we lost Brett. <laughs> OK, uh, John in Indianapolis. All right. Pick a model that we haven't picked yet. OK. Well, there we are, the hurricane model. OK. Very good. I know we want, don't want, to, we want to make sure we're, you're safe in Indianapolis from hurricanes, right? <laughs> oh, there's a troublemaker in every crowd. Yeah, right. OK. Um, let's see, uh, Mike uh, Myers, would you like to uh, put one in there? Maybe ECMWF or something like that. Yeah, John, I'm, I haven't been able to. Oh, access. that's right, that's right. You haven't. Sorry, Mike. Well, I'll go to the other Mike. I know it. Mike Dutter. <laughs> Okie dokie, just a second. Sure. And uh, Mike Fowl, you can start too if you like. And uh, Jeff, if you're there, you, anybody can jump in and, and create another category. So ECMWF, there's. 
Herders. Uh, I'll do the Herder, John. You got the Her? Okay, super. <laughs> hey, uh, this is, uh, I'll do the in-car ensemble. Okay. Sure, sounds good. All right, we have the RAF-13. An in-car ensemble, super. Hey, great, thanks, guys. So, uh, so this, so this, it's very simple. Then, you know, if you need to add uh, a category, something you want to, where you want to share information for, it's very easy to do that. So, let me show you what you can do next. So, let let's say um, you say, "Gosh, I've got something I want to talk about the GFS." You just click on the GFS. And uh, you'll say, oh, there's nothing there. Now, when they're talking about threads, threads is just just a word. I mean, basically, it's a post or whatever, if you want to call it. Uh, but basically, let's say um, you want to post a thread, or you can add a subcategory. Let's say there's something specific about the GFS. Um, oh, gosh. I mean, uh, either something you want to just look at from verification and... Uh, and it's it's exactly the same as adding a category. So save that. And then under GFS, and you can see this little back arrow here. I'm just going to go back to the original screen, and you see where it says GFS, but it has subcategories now. So let me zoom that up, make it a little easier to see. And it says verification. But if you just click on GFS, that'll take you to the main category, and um, and it has other subcategories here. But let's say you just want to post a new thread. In other words, you want to just post something on it. So just click on Post New Thread. And you can do this on any of them. If you want to just try this out, no problem at all. Um, out of, Okay, so model snow over northern Minnesota, maybe something specifically. And, and this is a, a little editor here. And it's pretty much WYSIWYG. You can set your sizes and style. You can bold it, italics. Um, there's very many different things. If you just um, see this is paste, if you just hold the cursor over, it'll tell you what it is. So insert, remove, uh, numbered list. Uh, that's kind of justify everything left, center. Uh, this allows you to actually paste in an image. So if you click on image, uh, you can actually put an actual URL in, and it'll it'll pop it in there. Uh, or you can actually put a link. But you, when it says browse server, that that could be something that you've already uploaded. And I'll show you where those documents are later if you want to do that. But that's uh, one place you can do it. Um, also, uh, there's uh, you can make tables. Um, you can make links. So, uh, so you could just type in. It could be a question. Um, or it could just be a comment. Now, if you if you if you say, well, it is a question, and I'd like to see if somebody could, would answer it, you can mark it as a question, or you can, or if you just have a comment, you can also leave it there too. Now, if you think this is a little too small, uh, sometimes I've had to kind of bring the bring the uh, font size up a little bit because it defaults to such a, a small one. But you can mark it as a question. And you can also say, subscribe me. In other words, uh, unless you're already subscribed to the whole forum, but I'll show you that in a moment, too. But you can do subscribe me, and that will, you'll subscribe to this thread. So when someone answers back, you'll, you'll get a notification saying, hey, I've, I've, I've got something here uh, for you already, an answer for it. And then the priority, if you want, um, Usually you don't have to put anything unless it's super duper urgent. And then if you have some files you'd like to to share, like let's say there's a couple screen captures or whatever, you just do uh, choose file, and then I'll go to some pictures here and and um, you know 
this was a, a wind graphic. Uh, but uh, and then you can go down here in categorization. You could say uh, uh, snow in uh, Minnesota. Um, you know, GFS. So it doesn't take all that long, really. So I'm going to back out again because I want to give you some space to see this. So you can also then preview before you post, which is not such a bad idea. So let's go ahead and get a preview. And this shows you what your post is going to look like. Okay, so here's the attachment, and then here's your question that you have up here. So you're still in draft mode at this point. So you can go down here if you want, and you can make any changes uh, you need. But once you say, yep, looks good, um, uh, you can either save it as a draft, come back later, or you can just click on Publish. And Publish will actually uh, put it on there. Now you see it, it publishes and shows you what you have. So you'll have to go back if you want to get to your actual GFS model section or forum. And so it'll list it right here. So you can see what's uh, going on uh, with it. And if you want, um, here's your actions. You can go over here, edit it. Uh, you can lock your thread like we're done, uh, subscribe to it, uh, and so forth. Or if you say, oh man, I didn't mean to do that, just move it to the recycle bin. You can just delete it too. So um, anyway, so I'll just go back here up to go up now, a level as it were. And um, if you look here under GFS, you've created one, uh, there's one category or subcategory. There's one post or thread that started. And now people, if they want to come in and, uh, and they want to answer that, uh, they can. Especially if they came over here and said, you know, um, I, want to, I want to subscribe to everything that happens in the GFS model section. So you can individually select each of these. You know, you don't have to do the whole thing. Now, if you say, I want to know everything going on in models, you come up here and click on subscribe, and it will subscribe you <laughs> to everything. That's anything that pops up in, in any of the forums down here, the categories, you'll get an email about it. And or you can also click on unsubscribe to, to uh, unsubscribe too. So does that make sense about the subscribe and unsubscribe? I mean, you can either do everything, or you can do it. You can do it by a category, and you can even do it by a, a specific post that you've made too. So if you don't want to get everything, you just want somebody to respond to you, um, you know, you could do it. But, you know, you might want to subscribe to more than one or possibly all of them if you want to keep up on what's happening with models. So any, any questions about, uh, about this, about how forums work a little bit or just how these work particularly? One thing I want to point out here, which is important, is kind of an important thing, is anytime you see green, that means you've done something correctly. <laughs> it usually says you've either saved it or you've completed a, a task correctly on the virtual lab page. Of course, if you just have a general model a question, you can post a new thread, and it will be posted down here under, under thread. So that would be kind of a generic models question. So this is strictly, this page is for models, and, and this forum is, is specifically for models. And so you can go in if you want and create other categories or, or whatever, you know, you'd like. Particularly, this will be useful is when we do evaluations, because this is where they're going to be coming to look for things uh, from us. And, uh, so even though I know, uh, you know, it's sometimes easier to pop an email uh, out there, the problem with emails, it's easy to lose our emails really quick. And, um, you know, and, and there's not an archive. At least when you're doing this, we have archived information that you can go back to later and say you can't, don't really have to guess where it is. Now, you may say, hold it. I, I don't know, remember what category I put this in. But I don't have any idea. Well, if you have, if you know it's in models, you can go up here to the search, and you said, well, it was about uh, snow or Minnesota. Of course, snow might be. Well, I'll put snow in, and click on search. And 
there you are, model snow over in northern Minnesota. So it gives you that specific post that you made, and you say, oh, there it is, and it was under the GFS. Okay, great. And you just click the little blue arrow to go back again. So as you saw, the, this, the search is it's, it's very powerful, and it's also very fast, and I've been very impressed with that. So any questions about now that that's just searching right here. Now let's say uh, I want to know I want to I want to find everything or I want to know everything that's on the Central Region Sioux site about uh, about snow. Okay, up here in the upper right here, this is kind of like the big Kahuna of all, all search engines on VLab. Now when it says everything up here, it means everything everything in the entire virtual lab world <laughs> that's out there. You probably don't always want to do that. Now, you can if you're looking for something in specifics, uh, but uh, usually you want to say this community or this organization, it might say, too. So if it says this community, you can type in snow and just hit return or um, hit the little, little magnifying glass. And typically, though, searching on a, in a car, the larger you get, the more it is. So you can see that here it did search on your community, and it was able to check everything within your models directory here. So to get back to where you were, um, there's a whole gaggle of things over here, but let me just show you some of them real quick. This is the community, which is the Central Region Sioux community. There's a forums message. And then, then it shows it by tag. So sometimes there may be several items on, on our site related to a particular topic. Um, and don't worry about the user, but it might also tell you how long ago was it. And you can even do a custom range if you want to na narrow it down. But let's say on this, org or, and now, now if you notice now, as soon as that search was done, it changed to this organization. Because it's assuming what it's assuming, assuming is at first when you're searching, you're searching on that particular page, and that in the in the community. But let's say the organization, which would be Central Region Sioux organization, if you want, if you if you type snow again, there's not much on there for snow at the moment, so there may not be a whole lot to uh, show. Uh, but we just give it a moment here. It'll show everything across the entire Central Region Sioux site. So you can see there's old PowerPoints, um, uh, different things. There's some from the Great Lakes uh, Workshop uh, that are in there. So there's a whole gaggle of information that you can find across here. Uh, land breeze, snow squalls, and it can tell you where they're at. Now here's an interesting part is there's different blog entries, and we haven't, I don't, haven't been using blogs extensively, but there are some in there. Uh, we can have bookmarks. There's, we do have bookmarks. So if you click on bookmarks and you've entered a bookmark, it can actually take you to the Lake Effect Snow browser. And, and under bookmarks up here is where you can actually uh, put in different bookmarks. But let's, let's say, well, okay, I, I don't want just a bookmark. So you just hit the little X here to turn off the little tag, as it were. And let's, let's do a search again. OK. There's also a, a lot of different documents. And there's uh, some, I, and these forums are kind of hid. Some of these right are hidden at the moment. But uh, there are different documents, and this could be PDFs, PowerPoints, it could be recordings, and so forth. So there are different types of things. But you can see in the, down here under time, it's past hour, past month, and also in the past year. So there's a lot of different files that are out there. So if you do, if you do this organization, it's pretty powerful. It can do a lot. It can show you a lot there. So any questions about uh, the searching itself? It's pretty straightforward, actually. But So the more things we put in there, like if you find a, a new bookmark, let's just say, and you thought it would be really useful, um, you can click on Add Bookmark. 
and add it in just like you would any other information on B-Lab. It's pretty much the same again. Uh, it says select folder, but you don't have to. You give it a name, you give the URL, and uh, if you want to categorize it, um, that helps, but it's not critical that you do. Um, or you put some, or, or uh, if you want to actually attach a file to that you have a document somewhere on here already, you can do that too. So the idea here with the virtual lab and what you're seeing is is the interconnections that you can make between information and the ability then to go and get that information later on when you need to search for something or find the information. So I'm going to stop for a minute and let everybody's brain calm down. So any questions or thoughts? Hey, John, when I, um, when I do the search, it, it, likes, it seems like it's hanging up. It's just, it says it's, it's waiting and everything else. I, I don't know. It, it, do you just, the search is just you just go up to that, that, um, that thing there and, and um, the entry, you know, and just say everything or this organization and press enter and it should go? It should go. Um, if, if you do everything, it will take a while. <laughs> Cause it, well, I'm just, okay, so okay, it, it, just came, it just came up now. So, no. Yeah, if you do everything, I mean, literally, it's searching every community that's on the virtual lab. So it's, so it's just, it's, oh, just this organization is just the CR Sioux community then? Yes, if you do this organization, it's just our, it's just us. Okay. okay. It's just us. Sounds good. Yeah, so that, that, that definitely will, <laughs> it should be a lot faster then. But I wanted to show you, though, going back to models here, though, is, you know, you can also search just in the form itself, for example. So you don't, uh, but if you go to models here, you, you can see it's still you can still get everything in this organization. Um, over here on the left, though, um, I wanted to show you this because this is a way of actually just adding files to your to system too. So if if you did something, you just want to add it about models or some new attach something. You know, it could be some new information. Um, you can actually create a folder for it, but you can actually actually just add the document and. Uh, by clicking on Add Document and then choosing the file, giving it a title, description, and most of the time you can just leave it on Basic Document. That's what's going to come up. You can put a categorization if you like, and uh, and actually you can attach a file to a file even, <laughs> or to uh, or to a calendar event or whatever. So you can you can interlock much of the information, but once you choose your file title little description uh, really at that point all you got to do is click on publish and and then it'll be posted for you so you won't have to uh, it's it's actually fairly fairly fast to do that um, so uh, so that's that's a way that you can do files now different parts different places like we have community here I want to show you this this is the Sioux communities now I know we used to have separate pages but that was getting a little unwieldy, a little ungainly, and uh, and it just wasn't seemed to be going very far. But uh, you do have forums for your individual uh, communities, and also a place to put files specifically for your um, community. Now, remember, you can attach files, you know, when you do a forum post. So you don't have to put it on your forum post and put it over here. There, there's no reason to do that. Um, there's really no reason at all. So um, that's just to give you kind of a sense of the information. And what's nice is you can do multiple documents at a time. That is really, really, really handy. Um, I was just going to click this for a second. You can also do a, a shortcut to get to something faster. There's there's a whole bunch of things here and uh, that you can try out for yourself. and. You're not going to harm anything. Um, if anything goes horribly wrong, uh, just if you think, "Oh my gosh, what did I do?" Uh, just give me a quick buzz or drop me a note. It's it's not you know it's not the end of the world, and don't 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 get too concerned about it. Well, it's easy enough to fix most things, unless you delete the whole site, and then maybe not. But outside of that, um, let me go through a couple things up here. Um, uh, under news, yes, I do want to kind of just show this. 
for a second. Um, this under Sue, Sue News, this, if you want to see everything that's going on on the website, changes to the website, um, files have been added, forum posts, and every email that's sent to cr.sue, it's on here. And we've been collecting them now for several months, actually. So you can actually come in here and find just about anything that you want. Uh, you also have the ability, uh, so I'm working on getting some of this done new. If you want to, you can subscribe to every change <laughs> that occurs. Not that you necessarily probably want to do that, but you can subscribe to it uh, if you want. And, uh, and there's been some things sometimes I've been putting on here that I didn't think were, you know, critical for you to know, so I'm, so I've been cutting down the amount, trying to, trying to attempting to cut down the amount of emails. But a lot of things do end up on here, uh, webinar information, uh, updates and so forth. Um, there was a thing I got from uh, AMS, I just posted that. And so there's a whole gaggle of things that are, that are in here that you can, you can look at. Um, and go in and just uh, look around a little bit. Um, now, some of these sites just reflect something. Like, for example, here's the IBW site. And um, now pretty much, and I'll give it a moment here, this is just going back to the IBW site. But I did put a forum here if you want to uh, actually post anything or comments. Uh, there's also one on ensembles. And the only thing I have on ensembles right now is going out to the Western Region site. So we're just reflecting what they've, they've done out there. So that's the only thing we have at the moment. Um, uh, let's see. We do have our calendar. And uh, on the left here, as it, it comes up in a moment, it's trying to pull up the Google Calendar. And it looks like it's having a little problem. I'm not too surprised. On this page also, I did add the Sioux directory. So you can see everybody who's who's uh, actually on on our uh, site. These are the site members, as it were. So that could tell you. I'll check on this. It was up there a little while ago, so it might be some from Google site, too. We have found that happens many times. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Um, no, I think that will pretty much do it for the moment. Uh, so. Uh, I'm just going to kind of open it up and uh, let anybody ask any questions they'd like. If you can't find something... Hey John, this yeah. is uh, John Chattel. Um, while uh, folks are composing their questions for you, um, I did want to follow up. I checked with um, uh, Mike Giebler uh, about the uh, delete option that we had uh, run into earlier. And uh, he was saying that um, basically you can't delete the project. There, there is an option. So if you're doing like a test one, uh, you click Save. You can go up, uh, and in the user's guide this is described, but you can withdraw the uh, project and then so that would that would basically uh, remove it from the uh, you know the inbox so to speak of the reviewer the approver um, but it'll still be in the uh, the database and you'll still see it and at that point you would then request uh, the VLAB admins to delete the project from the database so that's the uh, the latest on how to delete a project. It does require admin uh, intervention. Mm, okay. I guess my mine must have gone somewhere. <laughs> I put it in earlier. I, when I did mine, I tried that. It changed the status to draft, and that looks like as far as I could take it. So yeah, that that's when I'd have to send an email to the admin. Correct. Yes. Yes. And and one thing that we didn't really point out here. Um, uh, is that um, any communities up at the top here that you are part of, you can just click on that and, and it'll take you back. 
there's two here. The one with the eyeball open is open to everybody and their cousin. The one with the cross through the eyeball means you have to be a site member to interact with it. It's pretty much open to anybody if they just want to view information or just see kind of what we have. But anything that's more internal is locked up and uh, they won't see that. And they can't really add anything or you know edit anything. So they don't have any privileges there. There is a, a, a help here. And if you do run into an issue and you're not, it's like, gosh, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, there is a need help, but there is also a contact us, and that will send an email to the VLAB administrator, which might be John or who, who knows. But they, and there is also a larger user's guide, too, that you can go to. So contact us under help. Uh, we'll send an email directly to uh, somebody in the VLAB, and they're very good about getting back to you and, and working. Yeah, John, it... it, it it goes to a, a list, an email list, and uh, that list contains all the uh, VLAB admin. So it's it's going to a, a group of people, which is preferred over sending it to just say like me or, or your favorite person that you're in touch with, because uh, somebody will be on duty uh, during business hours to respond to your question if it goes to that list. Yeah, thank you, John. That's a good point. Because sometimes I get responses from different people on the team for different items. Uh, one area that I didn't spend a whole lot of time on, and actually I'd like to spend a minute while folks are thinking about any questions they may have. Um, this is, uh, I'm going to add a, a specific form for science sharing in here too. Uh, just didn't get it done uh, today yet. but. Uh, this is where you can come in and actually find the recordings. Uh, pretty much everything is on this YouTube list now. And on the left side here, uh, if you click on Playlist, it shows everything that's uh, in there at the moment. And I think we have somewhere around 135 recordings on there and uh, a wide range of topics. Um, if you just want to go to the YouTube channel, you can just uh, click on YouTube, and it'll just open up, open it up uh, to you. So, uh, so here's about the one for the other day from Prob Severe. So it's just as easy just to do that, and and then uh, uh, go from go from there. Something's missing there. Uh, these are some of the older ones that are down here. Uh, go back, back a ways, but um, but uh, this one pretty much has everything. Uh, pretty much everything should be in there uh, at the moment. And if there's something you can't find, let me know. The best way to search on that, like I said, is probably just to go to the YouTube and and uh, actually do a search if you're looking for something specifically. Um, Let's see if I can find, uh, oh yeah, here we go. So yeah, it's the size share. There's an actual playlist that's on there. And if you'd like to uh, subscribe to it, it'll let you know when things are posted there too. Believe it or not, we all have our own YouTube channels, as it were, in case you didn't know that. Oh, one thing I wanted to show here, too, is um, uh, that we do have a new file, a uh, place that if you're willing to uh, um, provide a webinar or, or you, you know, you, maybe you just got back from the AMS and you said, hey, that went over pretty well, might be something to share, you know, with more folks. Uh, just come on in here and... Um, and just fill this out. It shouldn't take too long. Most of the time, it's just these few questions, and you don't have any co-presenters. Um, and just a quick title, short little abstract. And if you can, put some dates and times that might work for you. Um, but even if you don't have them yet, that's not required. You can just put it down here or say, call me or something like that. And uh, then you can submit it. So um, that way, it'll let me know that uh, you'd like to schedule a webinar. 
And what's nice is it's all the information I need pretty much to put the webinar together for scheduling. So I'll have your abstract array, your title, and so forth. And a lot of you have worked with me on that know I pretty much ask some of the same questions every time. Uh, but it's a way for us to track, too, you know, what we've been doing this past year. So, uh, so there's a nice link to that. Uh, be a presenter, sign up today uh, on the science sharing uh, section of the virtual lab. So everybody head hurting about now? Well, obviously, as, as we expected, the, the learning curve is pretty high. Um, there, I think the, the real problem is, is finding enough time to actually come in routinely. I've tried to log in fairly frequently, but I still don't do it every day, and I'm sure there's others on the call that feel the same, that we really got to get an excuse to get in there frequently and get used to all the different button pushing exercises. Uh, otherwise, it'll, it'll, the, the atrophy would be high, I would think. Yes, it, it does it does pay to come in here regularly. Um, uh, and you know, anything you want, it, that's the thing about this page, which makes it, which makes the VLab unique, I think, is, you know, you can, you can put in, you can add bookmarks into a database, and, and any time you want to go search for something, gosh, what, what was that link, or what was that? I mean, you know, like I said, you know, it's not that, you know, we, we don't have a, a ton of stuff in there. We have some things in there already, but we haven't put everything in here, obviously. But, but it is kind of, a, it's a nice, great, place to put every all your information that you have along the way and um, and the more that we all contribute to it the more robust it will become for everyone so it, it is it will have it will need definitely be a team effort between all of us to uh, actually increase it a lot increase the amount of information we have available uh, to all of us to use Hey, hey, John. This is this is Mike. Um, so, so let's let's just go through a, a scenario here. Um, let's say I have a a file. I mean, uh, I'll just throw it out. Let's say a, a really cool radar checklist, whatever that I want to um, share with with everybody. Um, and maybe that's a simple example. But no, no. That's so do I just I just go to like to files and and or would I go to files or would I go to science share? I mean, I guess that's where I think maybe you know there's already even though we haven't added a lot of stuff, there's already a lot of different places we can put things and, and right um, right that that's so, absolutely right. Um, and so I guess that's where I'm afraid you know I may add something, but I'm still going to end up sending an email out to the whatever, you know, to the Sioux community saying, I have this on here. I, I, um, where, yeah, I, I, so I guess the question is, is, is there going to be any guidance or something of where we should put certain things? I, I mean, I almost feel like, you know, I hate to start, you know, have you micromanage this, but I, it almost seems like that's where it may need to go is, is that, you know, we're going to need to be sort of told where we put this, this stuff. Um, because I'm just afraid. I'm just afraid it's going to get lost. That's all. Right. Right. Well, um, let me put it this way. Um, what I've done is uh, at this point, and, and maybe that's good. I'll have to put out. Maybe I need to put out some guidance on that. And that may be a great idea, Mike, to do, um, uh, because I've just kind of. I have just a little bit more development to knock off I, here, and well, the, um, and if, if finish up on something on the size share. And um, and uh, I I thought there, what I've done basically at this point is is I'm, some of the things I know that we will do regularly like models I thought we bet we should have some for models you know and of course right. all of you helped build that today <laughs> now is intentional right um, but um, uh, 
you know, I thought, okay, we should have some for models. Now, if it's generic sci science sharing, like you said, what you were just talking about, um, yes, we should have that uh, under science sharing. I think the idea with files, and I may have one forums, or I may just drop the files all together, but uh, files and that sort of thing is more of a generic. It's where you can put just about anything. And, and if you don't know where to put it, just put it there. I mean, it's it's not going to go anywhere. It just uh, it'll just be part of the larger whole. Uh, but I thought for models particularly, um, uh, science sharing. Uh, a lot of what I was thinking of with that um, that page, and like I said, it wasn't completed out yet, so I'm not I'm not done with this. Uh, there was some right, glitches. Right. Um, uh, you know, it could be just simply a place where. Um, that's just where the recordings and the webinar files go. Now, if we want to go that route, that's fine, too. And then we could just keep files for just anything you want to dump in. And we could have then, and we do have a larger scale forum. I just don't have it listed on this uh, right. right now. Uh, that could just be for generic whatever. And because uh, we do have a science sharing folder here already, you know, that has mm -hmm. some files in it. So, uh, so, and, which is fine. I mean, uh, you know, it's that may be just fine too. But I, I'm open. We're open to suggestions, and we do have, a, you know, a couple of the team members on here today too. So, you know. I mean, I, I guess, I guess the the big thing is is that I just, to me, I, I mean, look, I, I think this is a is a interesting way to share, um, you know, share files. You know, re, you know, I. You know, and and you know, checklist, whatever. Um, on is is through this method. Um, it's just I'm just worried that it's um, as soon as I share it, it's it's going to get lost again um, in the in the you know in all in all these directories and you know, and so to me it seems like if we could find a way, and I I don't have the answers. I mean, I, you know, maybe it's you know whether or not we just dump it into one spot like Science Share or whatever. And um, and go from there, or, or maybe we dump it into Science Share, but tag it with with things. I, I, can you if you dump it into Science Share, can you still tag stuff? You know, like with the radar or winter weather or whatever. Oh yeah, you can tag it with weather. You can you can actually categorize it. Remember, we had the NOAA and we had the NWS, and then we had the NWS topics. Yeah, you can go in there and do that, or or you can just put in straight tags. You know, you can right. type in something, hit return, type in something else, hit return, and tag it however you like. To me, maybe that's the best to be because then I then I can then I can actually go in and, and search, you know, under the you know, so so if you go under science share right now, um, you know, add a new file into there or add something new into there and then you know, then you can and just make sure you um, you know, make sure you that you um, uh, you know, tag it with uh, the pertinent information like radar, winter weather, whatever. Right. I, I mean, maybe that's the best. I, mean, I, I guess I can't see that search function being used a lot, um, which is which is fine. Um, you know, it, it, yeah, you have to you just so the search function is powerful enough, which it seems like it is. Um, I guess that's okay because you know I don't I don't care where you put information. You know, it, it ends up being that you need a powerful search function to. to figure out where stuff is. There's no way you can easily, you know, organize stuff when everybody is throwing, you know, when everybody's throwing files and text and this and that into a, into a, you know, a page like this. So you just need a powerful search function and, and that should do the trick, of it, I guess. Yes, and that's, that's kind of the idea here. Uh, just, just so you know, up on the screen at the moment, this is kind of what I want SciShare to be looking like. That was my thinking. And like I said, um, I, I had done this as kind of a mock-up and to make sure I was happy with it before I, I changed anything on the science sharing. So, uh, so that's kind of the idea. And I think outside of that, um, but the sharing, I mean, I'll give you, see, if you come up to this organization, and I can tell you there's files all over the place at the moment on QL, QLCS. Let me just get that up there and type, no. Oh. Okay, why is this bleeping at me? Okay, why is... Oops. Oh, that was our good friend. Google Calendar hung me up there. 
So let me go up to QLCS and I'll hit return on that. Give it a moment here. It, you may not, it may not seem like it's doing anything, but if you look in the lower left corner here, you'll see waiting for VLAB. So, and, and I know there's, I've got documents all over the place on QLCS in different places at the moment and in different categories and, and, uh, and at different time periods um, in the past month or so. But yes, you can see the categories over here or there. Um, there's, there's the tags. So if you're looking for something that has a mesovortex, I think you hit it, Mike, is it's putting categories and tags on things. Then you can go after what you're looking for, regardless of where yeah, you put it in. I just don't see how, you know, I, I, unless, I mean, I, I don't see how you can ever truly do a, a you can organize stuff to a point, but if right. really, you know, people we'll have to, People have to, you know, you have to make sure the, the person who's putting in the content has to put in the, the tags. I mean, you know, using YouTube as, as an example, you know, I mean, yeah, right. you have these channels and, and stuff like that, but still, if, if you're wanting to search for, you know, something, you, you still have to use the search search tool, you know, the search engine on, on YouTube to, to get that. You, you know, bet. Get the one. Sometimes that even doesn't even work, but, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I think... I think the tags are are the key. You have to make sure to you know you just can't you just can't throw something on there and then leave the leave all your ca tags or categories off. Otherwise, you'll never have people. <laughs> It'll be much harder for people to find it. Well, you can notice here too is when it QLCS, it it does look into the name of a file too for the the particular thing you're searching for. So um, you know it it really does go through. I mean you know. I mean it, it looks like it goes through the description too, which is good, but. Um, but yeah, so that's that's definitely that's definitely helpful. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think yeah. Oh yes, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to say um, the the um, the LifeRay software has the ability that uh, to create like custom vocabularies. So if in advance um, your group was able to identify a series of tags, let's call them that you wanted people to use routinely, you could create this vocabulary. And then in the same way that you were able to select from a list of, um, you know, like uh, NWS goals or whatever, you could help yourself um, better organize these things. So, um, you know, you mentioned having this checklist. So you could create a list of tags, and one of which was checklist people could then more easily use that one consistently to identify their particular uh, document. And then you could create an asset publisher which would select on checklist. So in a little portlet, people could go to that portlet and see all the checklists that people had, had uh, entered into the, into the file system. Right. There are some things we can do to make it a little bit easier uh, to be consistent in using those tags. Well, let me show you an example here of, of that, exactly what he was uh, speaking to, is I was just going to add a document to the science sharing folder. So let's say I, I chose a file already in a title description. And here where it says categorization, this is, I think, John, what you were talking about, is I had created a little vocabulary called models. And if you do select, I had put like four different types of models in there already. Now, you, I could have done anything. I could have, I, you know, I could have any other. What I'm just saying is we can add specific categories over time. If we find everybody is having to type in checklists 100 times, you know, we can actually uh, create something for categorization. Um, but uh, so, yeah, I, I actually did start uh, working on that a little bit to try it out to see how it would work. Yep, that's exactly what I was referring to. Yeah, okay. So, so even if you did have a file related to a model, you could come down here and say, well, it's a, something to do with the GFS and, uh, and share it so that if you start, search on GFS, it'll pull up uh, that file, no matter where you put it. Because sometimes, you know, some might be science sharing, but, you know, it might be something to do with the models. It, you know, and, and where you put it, you know, really shouldn't matter. I mean, and that's what I've struggled with in the whole development process is, is I need to make it wide enough open, but 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 still have maybe a couple places to put things. You know, like we do a lot of stuff with models, 
and we do a lot of you know sharing of things with science. Uh, but do we need it all? Or should we just have one place? You know where you just kind of dump everything, <laughs> as it were. Um, it, you know that's been a real, real struggle, and so I'm trying to find that balance here. You know to allow it, but the categorization, as you pointed out, uh, Mike, is, is is essential really to what we do here. So whatever title you give to something, you know, or whatever categories, it's it's important to you know, choose some of that wisely and uh, the first time. Because once it's in there, then it's in there. And then you can search for it, you know, all day long after that. So, and I know I showed only the very basics of the search. I'm sure there's much more that we could use it for. Is that, is that clear as mud? <laughs> But a lot of it is just going in and, and trying it out. Now, I will need to figure that out because I, I was trying to think, OK, do I just have a files directory just like this where we can put everything? Mm, well, uh, you know, as and uh, don't worry about having a files. Uh, we can have one under science sharing, but do we need one necessarily? Or do we need to have uh, a forum there anyway? Should we just have a generic forum for all of uh, all the SUs, just period. You know, just a generic one. We just add categories and ideas and thoughts as we go along. And I've got it both ways. I mean, I've, I've, I've had it set up both ways. I just don't, I'm not showing the, the more generic one at the moment on the page. You know, that's where that's where community was, is, was the thinking was this would be more within your individual communities if you wanted to do anything, and, you know either files or, or forms just between yourselves. Um, and then when you were really, you know, but, and then when you really were done or you wanted to load something up, you could go to files and, and just add it in. Um, you know, it's it's kind of up, I, I need, you know, I'm going to need a little feed, more feedback, I think, you know, because uh, I'm, I'm kind of wanting to not stop development, but I definitely want to, <laughs> Say okay, version one is there, and we're done <laughs> for with that part at the moment. And then Jeff, maybe that's also you know, it's uh, like I said, it's a, it's been a balancing act. So which way to go? But we can just keep the, some that's called files, where you just put files, you put categories of it, make your own folders, whatever suits your uh, liking, and uh, and maybe we don't need to have. You know, for science sharing, maybe we don't need a, a specific files or even forum for science sharing. We'll just have a generic one. Like I said, I do have it. It's just not showing right now. I do have one that's that's out there. So, I mean, hey, there, let me know. I mean, a few of you are on the line. What's your thoughts? I mean, would you like to just have one place to go and say, hey, this is where I know I can put all my files or I need to ask questions and uh, just leave it at that? I'd say one place. I, I, I think it's going to get way too confusing if we start trying to go to, you know, one place for this and another place for that. Right. That's. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. But, um, I mean, I guess, you know, talking about, you know, you know, just being able to go to one place. I, I just think to me is is better than having to search for it. You know, you know or search or go through a checklist to figure out. Well, I need to put this file here or do this there. Right. <laughs> All one place. Well, that's that's. Uh, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Well, and that that's kind of been my first thought too. But I, you know, I wanted to kind of. I didn't want to, you know, do that right off the bat. Well, I'll I'll, I'll kind of work in that direction. My guess is that's where most folks will want to be anyway. So uh, I think we'll just do that. Well, anyway, hey, we we're at at our time. Um, well, we we lost a little time with the shelter in place for the mock tornado but uh, uh, you know if you have any questions or you want something added or or you thought think something would be good um, to add in there uh, let me know and I'll be glad to do that um, I'll be more than happy to do that and um, and you know we're open to suggestions uh, Dave Gady Ed Ray Jeff Logston are on the, the team too and uh, you know drop them a note if you like um, suggest something so anyway, any uh, last-minute thoughts, questions, comments? 
I appreciate everyone's uh, taking the time out to uh, to go over this. Again, we're trying to mold this to w the best way that we can use it. Um, and your input is valuable. If you know, we want to keep it as simple as possible to start, we can always expand later as we get used to using it. But I, I, I'm glad to see everybody jumping in and participating. Thank you very much. Yes, and and particularly this is particularly important because you know we are the we are the first weather service region out of the gate on this, and um, you know what you have to say is going to be very important. Okay, well, thank you everyone uh, for joining and uh, taking a good part of your morning, and uh, I wish you all a good day. Take care of yourself. Thanks, John. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks, John.